Hi, Mark. How'd your hunt go? Brilliant. I found so much. It's been a great day's detecting. A day? How long have you been here? Oh, hours and hours. I like to get as much detecting in as I can when I get a chance. Well, I hear that, but I can only manage a few hours before my detector gets too heavy. I've really got to take a rest. Yeah, you know, I used to find that as well, until I got my new Pro Swing 45 harness. Huh. All my idea is to make detecting easier using this new weight distribution system, so you can detect as long as you want without needing a rest. Really? So how does it work? Well, the guys at Mine Lab have put new features and technologies into the Pro Swing 45 that have never been seen in a harness before. The new weight distribution system redistributes the weight of the detector evenly across your body. Bingo, no more sore arm. That's fantastic. Sounds too good to be true. How does it redistribute the weight? By the revolutionary new J-strut, which fits neatly into the harness and can be adjusted for either left or right-handed people. Great, I reckon I could detect all day using this harness. Does it have any other features? Absolutely. There's the quick release R-clip to easily switch between detecting and digging, one-handed bungee adjustment to adjust bungee length in an instant, universal S-cuff that can attach to any detector, eight comfort adjustment points for a personalized custom fit, and eight attachment points for all your detecting accessories. And of course, there is a padded back cushion to guarantee ultimate comfort. Wow, this is an amazing harness. Is it easy to assemble? Yeah, so easy. I'll take mine off and show you how to put it together from the beginning. Here's how it comes in the cardboard packaging. The Pro Swing 45 comes packaged with everything you need. The harness, GPX battery pouch, upper and lower J-strut pieces with adjustment screws, universal S-cuff for attaching to any detector, bungee with quick release R-clip attached, and instruction guide. To assemble, start by joining the upper and lower J-strut pieces. There are two ways to connect the J-strut. If you're right-handed, align the arrow with the R. Or if you're left-handed, align the arrow with the L. Adjust the screws to suit your height. The taller you are, the more you need to adjust the top screw out to suit your height. This is the same for the lower screw. Don't worry about getting this perfect now, as you can adjust it later. Insert the top of the J-strut into the harness here making sure that it is on the same side that you hold your detector. Push it all the way up until it clicks into place. Insert the bottom of the J-strut into the harness here. Push it all the way in until it clicks into place. Next, if you're using a GPX series detector, attach the battery holder by sliding it over the bottom part of the back panel. Now you can put on the harness and fasten the clips at the front and attach your detector. To do this, attach the universal S-cuff to your detector by looping it around your detector's shaft and securing tightly. Note that the hook points towards the coil. Clip the bungee to the S-cuff and the harness. That's really simple. I love it can be set up for left-handers like me. Yeah, and there's eight adjustment points to customize the harness to suit everyone. You wanna give it a go? Sure, where do I start? The first adjustment to check is the height of the back panel. There should be the height of your hand between the bottom of your neck and the top of the back panel. If there is less room, then you'll need to shorten the back panel. If there is more room, then you'll need to lengthen the back panel. The waist belt can be adjusted from either side of the clip. Pull the shoulder strap adjusters down to remove any slack. If the J-strut is too high or low, take the harness off and adjust the screws and try on again. Adjust the height of the cross strap by moving it up or down and tighten or loosen with the adjustment strap. Attach the S-cuff and bungee to your detector and harness. Then adjust the length of the bungee by pulling down on the slack end and locking the length by pulling it up and across. The length of the bungee is correct when you are standing up straight and the coil is just above the ground. Now you're ready to go detecting in comfort. This is really comfortable. I can't even tell where the weight of the detector is. When using the harness, you can detect as you normally do, which means keeping the coil level with the ground and ensuring it doesn't rise at the end of your sweeps. This is great. Makes detecting so comfortable. When you locate a target and want to start digging, you can easily release the R-clip with one hand. Then, when you're ready to start detecting again, you can reattach the bungee with one hand. So easy! 
It certainly is. Mine Lab have thought of everything with eight attachment points. So you can attach your Profine 25 pin pointer, digging tool, external speaker, or WM10 wireless module, fines bag, and mobile phone. Great, everything I need. The ProSwing 45 is a must-have accessory for every detectorist who is serious about finding treasure or gold. Absolutely, Mark. And with more time detecting in comfort, I'm bound to find even more. For more information, go to mindlab.com or visit your local MindLab dealer.